السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد اعظم سمیر آئی بلانگ ٹو آرکیالوجی اینڈ کلچر ہیریٹیج اسٹڈیز ان مائی پریویس لیکچر آئی ٹرائی ٹو شیئر سم انفارمیشن سم نالج اباؤٹ ڈسٹرکٹ بہاول پور اینڈ اٹس مونومینٹ بہت ٹینجیبل اینڈ انٹینجیبل کنسڈریشن I also try to convey the message how we can save our culture and what is the importance of archaeology not only in Pakistan but all over the world. Today I have come with the new and very interesting aspect of archaeology which is called the World Heritage Sites in Pakistan and their status. Unfortunately, Pakistan is a country where only six sites have been documented as World Heritage Sites. But there are many more. It is also unfortunate that all sites of Pakistan, the sites have never been approached. or given much attention to make them important or highlight in all over the world but some only some scholars they tried their level best to let all the world know what a good and well organized civilization we had industrial civilization But in modern era, the importance of archaeology and our civilization has been, you know, set aside. But still, I am hopeful that in near future, many sites would be highlighted in all over the world and they would be enlisted in World Heritage Site List. As I told you earlier, only six sites in Pakistan have been, you know, documented as World Heritage Sites, but there are many more. In this regard, today I have a brief information and very concise knowledge about the important sites existed in Pakistan. First of all, I would like to let you know about the important sites in district bahawalpur and those should be enlisted in world heritage sites such as ganveri wala which is mature hadappan a metropolitan site as many scholars recorded this site as a metropolitan site of indus valley civilization but still no any proper excavation conducted on this site and still many information and cultural material has been you know uh, away from the approaches of archaeologists or anthropologists if this site is included in the list of world heritage site the mature harappan culture would be highlighted in all over the world and would be protected as well then there is also a very important site that is called deravar fort this fort is very important in the context with the context of cultural and archaeological and architectural observations this is very surviving and uh, you know uh, unfortunate fort in the desert no one try to restore it properly and conserve it properly if this site is protected definitely we would be in position to let all the world know that our land has been the center of many historical backgrounds and archaeological observations then there is also another site in district bahawalpur that is called usharif this usharif was 
the one city of Alexander the Great and it is called Alexandria. In this city there are many monuments such as Bibi Javindi, Shrine of Bibi Javindi, Shrine of Bahawal Alim and Shrine of Jalal Surah Kosh Bukhari. These are very unique and important with the context of cultural, archaeological and social uh, uh, you know, uh, consideration. If Bibi Javindi, tomb of Bibi Javindi would be enlisted a world heritage site, the central architecture, central Asian architecture would also be conserved. Then uh, there are also some important sites uh, in southern Punjab of Pakistan such as the tomb of Zainul Abidin uh, in you know Lar which is very close to the Multan. Very beautiful fresco painting of uh, Shahi uh, graveyard in Cholistan desert. These both sites are well depicted based on fresco painting. Then there is a very important site in Multan called Sharukni Alam, Shrine of Sharukni Alam. This shrine of Shah Rukhni Alam is really important as you people would be astonished that the whole architecture of Shah Jahan's Taj Mahal Agra was you know uh, given inspiration from this Shah Rukhni Alam shrine in Multan. Then there is also another uh, Ganjar monument in southern Punjab that is called Sui Vihar Stupa but this Sui Vihar Stupa has been you know dismantled and its uh, present situation is you know uh, very bad it has been you know lost its uh, real shape if we protect this site uh, the Buddhist culture would be uh, you know protected as well if Sharukni Alam tomb, Ganveri Wala, uh, then Dharavad Fort, a large village tomb, as well as the grave, Shahi graveyard in Cholistan Desert, uh, our important culture would be shared by rest of the world. Then we come to the Another, you know, monument that is called Bhog Mosque. Bhog Mosque is very, you know, crucial based on its architecture, both it, its exterior and interior. There is much of work of fresco paintings and other aspects as, you know, uh, the resemblance of fresco paintings very close to the, uh, you know, Shahi graveyard royal graveyard in Cholistan desert and Jangir mosque in Lahore. Then come to the, uh, you know, another monument that is Jahangir's tomb in Lahore, Barshem mosque in Lahore and then walled city in Lahore. These three very important monuments should be, uh, you know, uh, enlisted in world heritage sites or in tentative list. Tentative list means the monuments which could be enlist, enlisted in the World Heritage Sites in near future. Then we have very beautiful monuments in uh, you know northern Pakistan such as Dharma Rajika Stupa, Gorkhatri Museum, Gorkhatri site in Peshawar, Haveliya in Peshawar, you know uh, mosque in Peshawar. Then, you know, uh, Chakdara, Julia, the monuments of Julia are the best, you know, uh, shape and best example of, you know, uh, Buddhist architecture or Buddhist religion. Then we have some monuments in Taxila like Bhir, 
Bir Mound, Sir Sirsuk and Sirkap. These monuments are, you know, the best representative of Buddhist culture, Buddhist architecture as well. Then we have another, you know, monuments such as Al Sadiq Mosque in Bahawalpur, Baitul Mall building in Bahawalpur, vernacular buildings in Bahari, uh, some old houses in, you know, uh, Shujabad, walled city of Shujabad. Then there are some villages. Those villages should be uh, listed in World Heritage sites such as uh, Raja Ram, Lar, Basti Malok, uh, Khanka Sharif, Matta village in Kasur, near Raivind, and some of the monuments which are, you know, very close to the border of India. These should be enlisted in a uh, tentative list or world heritage site of the world. Above all, there are some archaeological sites such as Khod Diji, Jalilpur, Lakhvinjodaro and some sites in Bahawalpur such as you know Ganveriwala I have already mentioned, Kasaiwala Thir, then you know Kaliyapara, then Kalipur. These are very important sites. These are very important sites representing the Indus Valley civilization. So these sites should be protected as well. Uh, in a nutshell, in the end, I would suggest to the Department of Archaeology and some authorities in Pakistan, they should involve the rest of the world to let them know how and very important culture we have. This should be, you know, uh, highlighted in all over the world. And secondly, the tourism department and, uh, and some other departments, they can play a very wider role to distinguish our culture in all over the world. Thank you so much.